In this video we're going to look at the truncated exponential distribution and the reason I'm doing this is I'm doing a, a video on EM algorithm on uh, life testing you know where we use sensor data and the, this truncated exponential distribution comes into play and it's just easier to reference this video than to go through this the whole derivation in that video. <coughs> so here we assume our data is uh, exponentially distributed with some parameter lambda and here's the density for that and x is greater than or equal to zero. Now a truncated exponential is it's it's really the same x but we're restricted to a region you know bounded below and above and that's called a truncated exponential and the density for this is this is uh, the f of x is this f of x and then divided by uh, being the probability of being between a and b which is the same as the probability of being less than a minus probability I mean less than b minus the probability of less than a and this is an indicator function that's one if we're between a and b so it restricts it to, to this region here and it can be easily shown that that integrates to one. So, but in this video, we're going to do a one-sided truncation. So we're going to uh, we're looking at f of x, given that x is greater than some number c. And so this acts as a censoring variable in the video that I'm going to do on the EM algorithm. And the density can be shown to be this where we're restricted to x greater than c and we want to sh show or find the mean the second moment and the variance of this distribution okay but uh, first we're going to uh, calculate this piece here which is sometimes called the survival function it's one minus the cumulative distribution function because there's no x here this is a constant throughout our derivation so let's derive it first and then that is this I use SC which really means 1 minus cap F of C and it's the probability of being uh, greater than C and here's our uh, exponential distribution you simple u substitution we get this here's our limit we integrate when we plug in infinity this goes to zero and then C we get this now our then our density becomes f of x divided by this is one minus cap f of C which can just be capital S of C which is this and we take the numer the denominator to the numerator then it becomes a plus and then here's our density so when we find the expected value of x uh, we just put we integrate over the range of our density put in an x and then times it times our density dx and then we can pull this constant out front and we get this and then we're going to use integration by parts to solve this with u equal x and dv equal uh, 1 over lambda e to the minus x lambda dx and it can be shown to be this. This is the UV limits of integration. This is the uh, uh, DU or VDU. And then this becomes that. And we integrate that, becomes this. And there's our limits. Plug them in. That becomes zero to infinity. And so plug it in. We multiply that in and those go away and we're left with C plus lambda. Now the second moment, you know, just using the definition is we plug in x squared and there's our density and we're going to use integration by parts twice. So here's our substitution and we get this. Now we integrate this by parts again using this substitution and we get and and then this piece becomes this piece 
that is this the plug in infinity that goes to zero and you can show that using L'Hopital's rule twice and then it goes you can show that it's zero so now we need to finish the plug in the limits that goes to zero to infinity plug in the C we integrate that and it becomes this piece here and then we need to plug in our uh, limits when we plug in infinity that goes to zero so we plug in C and we get this and then we multiply this constant times each of those and those go away leaving this C squared plus 2C lambda plus 2 lambda squared and then the variance by definition is just the expected value of x squared plus the mean squared and we just calculated each of these previously that is this which is here and the mean was c plus lambda we square it uh, we square that combine like terms and we get this 3 lambda squared plus 4 c lambda plus 2 c squared um, and that's it. Hope you liked it. Um, please subscribe to, so you don't miss the next one. Bye.